Hello, my name is Charlie Lees. I'm a gastroenterologist here in Edinburgh. This is a brief update for people with IBD about COVID-19 vaccines. Here are my disclosures. The pandemic is at a delicate phase. Things have been better in the UK recently after a horrible winter spike due to the Kent variant. In other parts of the world, variants are driving a resurgence, such as South America with the P1 variant and Eastern Europe with the Kent variant. There is a race to try and vaccinate the planet as quickly as possible. Currently, 7 million vaccines are being given globally per day. This needs to go up by an order of magnitude, if possible. In the UK, the vaccine rollout has been going relatively well. To date, 21.7 million people have had their first dose of a COVID vaccine, but just a million are fully vaccinated, having received both doses. Priority has been given to those in the shielding group, corresponding to the highest risk group on the BSG risk grid. Those in the moderate risk group should be vaccinated at the moment in accordance to JCVI group six. Over 35,000 people have accessed the IBD registry risk tool at ibdregistry.org.uk forward slash COVID hyphen 19. You can go there to check your risk grouping. So let's have a look at the guidance that has been produced by the BSG first and then the IOIBD second for COVID vaccination in IBD patients. This is the BSG statement that was led by Nick Powell. The first and important point is we strongly support COVID vaccination for patients with IBD. The risk of COVID vaccination in patients with IBD is anticipated to be very low. The IOIBD guidance complements this. Patients with IBD should be vaccinated against COVID. The best time to vaccinate is at the earliest opportunity to do so. Vaccination should not be deferred because a patient is on immune suppressants. Please also do not halt immune suppressant therapy when you get your COVID vaccine. Here are the six vaccines that have been shown in phase three clinical studies to be effective and safe. There are three adenovirus vector vaccines. These viruses are dead. You cannot catch COVID from getting these viruses. These are Oxford AstraZeneca being used in the UK, the Janssen vaccine from J&J &J that will be used in the US, and the Russian Sputnik V vaccine, all shown to be effective. There are then the two mRNA vaccines. These are from Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech. And then soon to come will be the Novavax vaccine, which is a protein subunit. They all target the spike protein on the outside of the COVID protein. They are all very effective they are all safe. They all prevent severe disease, hospitalization, and death. We do have some unanswered questions about the effectiveness of these vaccines on patients on immune suppressants therapies. We still believe they will be effective, but we wonder whether or not the effect might be slightly muted, and we may need to have um, a mitigation strategy. The Clarity team, led by Tarek Ahmed, is investigating this actively, in the three months leading up to Christmas, an incredible 7,229 patients were recruited from 91 adult and paediatric hospitals across the four nations of the UK, totaling 4,500 patients on infliximab and 2,500 patients on vedolizumab. Look out for results from the vaccination part of this study in the next month or two. Finally, if you have any queries or questions, I highly recommend you go to crohnsandcolitis.org.uk where you will find an FAQ section and access to the webinar that we put on before Christmas. So that's it from me today. I'll come back with further updates when they're available. In the meantime, I hope wherever you are in the world that you get your COVID vaccine soon. Please don't defer when you're called. Uh, good luck, stay safe, and see you soon.